I got a film here that, uh, you know, we talk about films sometimes needing uh, mallets, okay, to kind of wake you up out of the stupor, or as a way to watch this film, uh, sort of prepare yourself, okay, uh, to maybe concuss, right, to give you sort of some, well, different ways to see reality. Well, you might need this for this film, but I'll tell you one thing, this film will show you different ways to see reality, and that's for darn sure. 1966, you got to remember, America was in the hot time of Batman. Batman on TV, on ABC, was a uh, big item. Everything was Batman. I remember my brother, okay? Talk a little bit about my brother. He, he had a birthday, uh, and he's, he, he's June 16th, which is my wife's birthday, too, and it's Bloomsday as well. Uh, he had his birthday, and he requested everything that everybody brought to him as a gift, from the parents, from uh, relatives, to all of his friends and me, had to be Batman items. Okay. And boy, he got all kinds of stuff. Batman pens. He got a utility belt. He got this Batman helmet he got to wear. Of course, it never really fit, and he'd fall over all the time. Uh, Batman cape, right? Batman flashlight. Batman lamp. Wish I had that Batman lamp. That was cool. Batman models. All kinds of stuff. So the, the America was hot on Batman. Well, so was Jerry Warren. Now, you know Jerry Warren from Incredibly Petrified World, uh, uh, Man Beast. Man Beast, Man Beast, you remember Man Beast, uh, and uh, the, the man who took a lot of Mexican products and recut them and added footage with uh, Bruna Vesota and things like that in it, well, he really got all head up about this Batman thing, he was going to cash in, and he made a film originally called The Wild World of Batwoman, 1966. Well, the film got sued, okay, got sued doubly, one, he had this company called Ajax, and Ajax was after him. So when you see the word Ajax in this film, you'll notice it's spelled A-Y-J-A-X. Likewise, they changed the title and they added a scene at the beginning of this film to get out of the Batman suit, I guess, <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, added these three women drinking blood at the beginning, which actually is yogurt, strawberry yogurt. Uh, I'm not giving anything away. They do that themselves. They talk about that. And they changed the title, and the title you will see at the front of this film is not The Wild World of Batwoman. It is She Was a Hippie Vampire. Whoa. And she is very much. Catherine Victor plays Batwoman in this film. And you might remember her. She was, in, uh, uh, she was the scientist who was working for the communists in the Teenage Zombies. Remember that? That great film had that great fight with the gorilla and things like that at the end. Of course, Jerry Warren is one of those who believes that if a scene is failing, throw in a monkey. Now, for the life of me, I don't know why he didn't throw in a monkey in this film. Okay, Because it needs one. Okay, because there are many scenes in here where you wonder, is it failing? Is this something he's attempting to do? What's going on? Now, the humor in this film, because it's shot campy. Remember, Batman was not to be, it was taken tongue-in-cheek, whatever that means, tongue-in-cheek. Uh, but this film, uh, I don't know if it was funny in the way that Jerry Warren wanted to be funny. It's funny. And it's just got scenes in there that's going to be uh, kind of getting you to drop in your jaw. There's a great seance sequence in here that's just right out of, out of nowhere. Uh, the device that they're fighting over to get is this atomic-powered hearing aid. Yeah, that if they discover that if they mix it with cobalt that it, it will ignite a nuclear uh, eruption. Whoa! Okay, so that's what they're fighting over. The villain that they're fighting is a guy named Ratfink. Wow, Ratfink. He's a cool guy. He looks like a, a sort of one of the villains out of some of the Mexican uh, horror films, uh, like Phantom of the Red House. Okay, looks like that. Wears a hat uh, and has this black mask and wears a cape. And you see him on TV all the time. Huh. Yeah, sort of a star. Okay, of his own show. Now this this thing also has some of your typical Jerry Warren uh, signatures: long, tedious dialogue uh, scenes of just no cutting, just one long take. I admire the people who have to work with Jerry Warren. Okay? They have to be fantastic actors okay? because they have to deliver that stuff all in one take. They don't get a you know, uh, cut and say, we'll get some coverage and so on and cover you uh, and so on. It's long takes. Uh, likewise, great obvious dialogue. One of the things, uh, if you haven't really brushed up on your uh, Robert's Rules of Conduct and of Order, Remember when you were in school, you always had to follow the Robert's Rules of Order, you know, and how you would bring a club into a uh, session, you know, and have seconds and thirds and all that stuff, uh, you know. Uh, 
Batwoman and her group of women, okay, which lounge around pools and sit around while she plays a weird organ and things like that, uh, they have to follow the sort of a Robert's Rules of Order where they, they say, you know, who calls this session into meeting? I do. I second that and stuff like that. So you, you kind of learn a little bit about that. Likewise, uh, watch for some of the characters in here, particularly uh, this guy, this uh, uh, what is it, Richard Banks. Watch him read his cue cards. He's good. He's got that down. He, 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 he really looks at those cue cards and reads them well. So he watches eyes. Okay. Uh, so that's great. I'm going to have fun with this film. Okay. Hippie vampire or Batwoman. You're going to have fun. I think that Catherine Victor uh, does a great job. She wears this really cool Batwoman outfit. Okay. Wears this headset with feathers and things. Wears a boa. Very low cut uh, sort of uh, black outfit uh, with a... Uh, a bat tattooed across your chest. Yeah. Kind of a cool little uh, tattoo. Think you're going to enjoy this movie?